Hello all, I am Dr. Prabhas Chandanbal. In today's class, we will construct the three address code for 1D RF. Okay, see. See the code snippet. Here, int x equals to 0. For i equals to 0, i is lesser equals to 10. i plus plus x equal to x plus a of 5. x equal to x plus a of 5. So, this is 1, 1D RF. This is 1, 1D RF. Okay. Now, we'll see how to construct the three address code for 1D array. Okay, so this is 1D array. So let, uh, let x equals to a of i, let x equals to a of i. Okay, so how to construct, how to construct three address, for, three address code for this 1D array. Okay, let I am taking a of 4, F4 means it will store, it will store total five number of values. It will store total five number of values like, let's say, like zero, one, two, three, four. It will store total five number of values. The base address starts from where? Just like 100. Let, I'll store but integer type variable, integer type variable. Since it is an integer type variable, so my offset value is what? Two. My offset value is two, right? So this is one zero two, this is one zero four, this is one zero six, this is one zero eight. Okay. Let I'll store here four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Suppose I want to find, suppose I want to extract one value is like what a of 3. Suppose I want to extract a of 3. So how to get a of 3 value? a of 3. Just say this is base address plus, this is base address plus i minus lower bound, i minus lower bound into the upset value, into upset value. Just say here base address is 100 plus i value i value is here three here lower bound lower bound starts from where zero here offset value is offset value c means what two because i store here integer type variable suppose if it is float float means the so c value is four so c value is four suppose it is, it is character type variable that means here c value is one like this Okay, so that means what 100 plus 3 into 2. So 100 plus 3 into 2 means 6. That means 106. So A of 3, 106, the same. 106, the value is what? 7. The value is 7. In this way, we can extract the value from 1D array. Right? So now we'll formulate. So we have already formulated, okay? Here lower bound is always zero. So no, we can write like this, but so a of i, a of i equals to what? This is 100 means what? Base address plus here three, three means i value into two into two, right? So two means here offset value. Here two means offset value. Okay. So now we'll formulate x equals to a of i. Now we'll formulate the or we will write the three address code for x equals to a of i. Okay. X equals to a of i. See first a of i. So a of i means what? B a means base address into plus i into two. Just say. T1, T1 equals to base address. That means we'll store base address into T1. Second, so we'll store, this is T1, we'll store I into 2, means in T2. T2 equals to what? I into 2. Then, third, so X equals to what? T1 of T2. In this way, we can write. Let's say, here T1 means what? Base address. 
of T2. T2 means what? I into 2. Here I into 2 means what? The 6, this value is around 6. The base address and this value is I into 2. The base address means what? 100 I into 2. This value means what? 6. So 100 of 6. So 100 of 6, this value is around what? This value is 7. So in this way, we can write, in this way, we can write the 3 address code for the three address code for one D R. Just see. So this is my code snippet. Okay, first. Int x equals to zero. Just ask that x equals to zero. Second point. Here we'll define what i equals to zero. Simply write i equals to zero. Then this is one for loop means condition i is less or equals to ten. Just see. If i is less or equals to ten, go to Letter will fill the blank, fourth one. Or else part, go to letter will fill the blank. Okay. Then, suppose if condition is true, then we'll execute this statement. First, we'll construct this 1DR. First, we'll construct the address code for 1DR. So, this is the, this is 1DR. Just see, fifth one. But, T1 equals to base address. Sixth one, T2 equals to I into 2, I into 2, seventh one. Seventh one, just see, X equals to, we can write directly, X equals to X plus, X plus, or we can write like this, just see. T3 equals to, T3 equals to what? T1 of T2. We can write like this. Okay. T3. Here T3. Here T1 means what? Base address. Here T1 means base address. T2 means what? I into 2. Okay. So now, 8th one, x equals to what? x equals to x plus what? T3. Okay. Just see. Suppose my condition is true. If my condition is true, we'll go to or if my condition means i is less or equals to 10. The condition is true means we'll execute this line or this statement. So this statement starts from where? Line number 5. So we'll fill here 5. Suppose if my condition is false. Suppose if condition is false. Here if the condition is false. False. Then we'll will execute or will go directly exit from the loop means will directly exit from the loop okay first we will complete go sorry this is i equals to then we will write what i equals to i plus one tenth one go to eleventh one this is exit we can write exit. Okay. Suppose my condition is true. True means we'll execute this statement. What? X equal to X plus AI. If I is less equal to condition is true, then go to direct. What? Where? I. Suppose my condition is false. Suppose my condition is false. That means we'll directly exit from the loop. So, direct loop exit. Let's see. Here exit line. This one. 11th line is the exit line or will exit from the loop. Okay. Suppose if my condition is true here, so we'll execute this statement, we'll execute this statement, then we'll execute line number 5, line number 6, line number 7, line number 8. Then we'll increment this one value, we'll increment one value, then go to where, then go to, then this one means this condition. So condition is where? Line number three. So this is go to line number three. Okay. So here important is we have already discussed about this for loop. This for loop means in the previous class. But here one important thing is 1DR. How to construct, how to construct the three address code, three address code for 1DR. This is important. Okay. This is the important formulation for 1DR. Okay. 
one DRA. So here we just store the base address into T1. We just store what I into two in T2, then X equals what? T1 of T2. T1 means what? T1 is the base address. So T2 means what? I into two, okay? One important point here, here I into two. Here two means what? Here two means, just see, here two means base, sorry, two means offset value. This two means what? Offset value. Offset value or here, we just define here offset value is C. Just say C may be different, means C may be integer type, C may be float type, C may be character type, it may be different. Or we can write like this what? T1, T1 equals to base address. This is the first one. T2 equals what? T2 equals to I into C. We can write in general form also, we can write. Since we store here integer type variable, inter, sorry, integer type value. So here we define I value, sorry, this C value is two. But we can write also write like this, I into C. Okay, because C may be, uh, because C may be integer type, C may be float type, C may be character type like this, okay? So then C equals to what? Uh, X equals to T1 of T2. Okay, we can also write like this, okay? So in the next class, we'll discuss about the three address code for 2D array and 3D array. Thanks for watching.